everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use artificial intelligence to help you write text in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. So if many of you have been using the editor recently, you may have noticed that when you click on text, you'll see this option to create AI text. If we click on this, you'll get this little box that looks like this. And what you can basically do is say what business type you are, what's your business name. You can select whether the text type is a title or a paragraph. And you can also change what the topic is of the text. So we can see that a lot of these are maybe different pages of your website. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and select, since we have this heading text selected, I'm gonna go ahead and say title. Um, what's your business type, website design. Um, for this, what this topic is, I'm gonna say projects, and I'm gonna create text. Now it's gonna bring up three different options of this here. Now, what I will say is this is supposed to be kind of like our portfolio. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and change this to portfolio. And I'm gonna go ahead and create new text here. And now it'll generate a few more options here for us. Now, when you find an option that you want to use, you can either say copy text and then you can just copy and paste it, or you can press use text and it'll automatically place it in there for you. Now, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and maybe change some of the words because of course AI is not perfect and you just need to tweak it a little bit. And then once you're happy with the text, you're all good to go. But now let's go ahead and try it for a paragraph. So what I want to do is we'll say this is a portfolio. Maybe we can change this to web design and see what happens. Wix fix, this is gonna be a paragraph. We want this to be projects. And then we'll have this option to kind of tell the AI text some things we want it to mention, like beyond industry standard, innovative, and clients, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, and we'll go ahead and press create text. And after like 10 seconds, it basically gives us a few different options. Now, what I would say is obviously like some of it I wouldn't really use. So what I would do maybe is just copy to clipboard and then we'll paste this here. And I would just kind of remove some of this text right here. We pride ourselves on innovative designs that exceed our clients' expectations. Our portfolio showcases our commitment to excellence. Read more about our projects and see how they can help you reach your goals. I think that right there is perfect. And I just realized that this title does not make sense. So I'm just going to remove that. And maybe with this text, we'll make it like 80 pixels, something like that. I think that looks really, really cool. Now, what I will say about this AI here in Wix is I do think it's not quite chat GDP level yet, um, but it is very promising seeing not only how far AI has come over the past several months, but also how it's being implemented into Wix. You know, with chat GDP, not only can you copyright for your entire website and do SEO for your entire website, but you can also use chat GDP to plan your website and plan each of your pages and what kind of sections it's gonna have and how you're gonna basically design it. Now, for me, I think that's gonna be really cool. If chat GDP gets implemented into Wix, maybe along with mid journey, then we can actually create really cool custom websites fairly quickly in Wix. If you're not familiar with what Midjourney is, it's kind of more of a picture-based AI. And so you can easily create custom imagery for your websites. And if you pair this nicely with Wix ADI, which is currently Wix's, I guess, artificial design intelligence. And really all that means is basically depending on the choices you choose with Wix ADI, it basically selects pre-designed sections for your website that Wix thinks you will need for your website. But if ChatGDP and Midjourney get implemented, then Wix ADI can be really useful in designing your layout, copywriting, and Midjourney can make the images for you. Now, I don't know if this stuff is gonna happen, but I do think it would be pretty cool. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.